I want my father's cancer to fuck me like we just met on a dance floor. And then again by the bar. And now, here we are. Outside the bathroom and this trash can is overflowing with paper towels and the tiles are just clean enough for us to not think about how dirty they really are. So we don't think about how dirty they really are, just how dirty we really want to be as we carve places for ourselves inside of one another because what's blood really when it's all shared? Ew. <laughs> Two. In December, the word melanoma crept into my house like a foul smell. It dripped through my family's bloodline like, like juice on the wrong side of the straw and then it pooled until it hugged the walls of its container and now everything sticks. The word stomach, the word intestines, the word catheter, the word orphan. I feel this last word slowly from my gut. I hold it soft as gravel inside my mouth. Orphan. 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 And then I forget to sort the recycling. I forget wide brim hats and, and sunblock and cruciferous vegetables and y'all this. This is how I wear high heels and lace for a cancer. I want so badly to pour through my body like a sugar rush and fuck me like it's been in this hole before. Three. We host a shiva. All right, time out. How many people know what a shiva is? Four, y'all. Okay, a shiva is what would happen if you took a wake and mixed it with Jewish anxiety and somehow found a pastry in the middle of that. It's just like this one Jewish, anxious, sad thing. Delicious, though. Three, we host a shiva, and yo, everyone comes. For the first time in my life, my house, my house is the place to be as 87 friends and family bubble and pop into my living room around the Beach Boys <laughs> and Buckwheat Zydeco and a bunch of other whack-ass music that my dad used to listen to so that we can try to share a memory that none of us are strong enough to hold alone. Like the, the gentle lilt of South Carolina on his A's. The softness of Charleston on the center of his tongue. How he read Shakespeare by the volume and on the storm days would say, Michael, now is simply the winter of your discontent. <laughs> and I had no fucking idea what he was talking about. But my father... He's not here. My father's jaw is wired shut in a locker underneath New Jersey. His veins are drained of all the bad blood, thank God, but also all the good blood. The blood that made my father my dad. And instead tonight, my dad is an empty and sunken office chair. He's a collection of stamps that I will add to but never really care for. It's a playlist that my friends share on Spotify but never really listen to. He's the eulogy I write, that everyone wants a copy of. It is their favorite poem, the best performance I've ever given. Five, or four, or we start losing track of the numbers. See, my family, we wait until they leave and and they do, they always do, all 87 of them do. And then my sister, she walks into the living room and she, she takes down this pile of bills from the shelf because it's just gathered there because none of us know what to do with that shit. And she takes one and she puts it on the floor and then she, she rubs her heel on it. And then I get the message because, well, I know my sister, so I take one and I put it on the floor and I rub my heel on it. And then we go back and forth, and then back 
and forth until it looks like we're dancing. Because we are, because we can. I mean, we can still dance, y'all. We can still steady sing the song of grief, even on an empty stomach, on no sleep, on the days we forget to buy groceries and all the recipes they make. I mean, we might as well dance until this whole house widens with our hips and the whole block knows that this family clutches to life like we are afraid of losing any more of it because we are, because we know no other option than to cling. And even if we do it poorly and we fight in the parking lot, I mean, at least we're fighting each other. At least we know that a sinking ship is still a ship no matter where it's going. Then there's me. I just sit here and I feel and I say the word love. And I say the word orphan, but mostly the word love. And I write letters to the smoke that stole my father and I dream it will take me to him. I call friends, I read his old messages. I do not remove his name from my phone. I do not remove his name from my phone. I do not remove his name from my phone. I go to work and every day is a struggle to do anything normal. Like go to work. Like work. Like eat. Like pray. Like stay. But I do stay, y'all. If not for me, then for him, for my mom, for my sister who he loved, I stay. Oh, and I dance, even to the Beach Boys.